Oh, hey, didn't see you there. You know, we, we do all this riding up on the mountains, but we've never really tested which vehicle is the best. Off-road showdown. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. I decided to go out, swap out the CDI on the Eton Mini ATV, get it running, go. fix the chain hop issue on the tote goat. <laughs> you made it! Oh, I made it! And order a new belt for the Mini Reaper car, which is a Murray Explorer. Oh shit! <laughs> we have ourselves a lineup, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Eton, a 1990s 50cc two-stroke kids ATV. We have the Tote Goat, it's a 1960s Bonham mini bike. And then finally, we have the Mini Reaper cart, which is a Murray Explorer built sometime around the 1990s. Let's look at some statistical advantages each vehicle has over the others. The Eton and the Murray Explorer both can go in the snow. The tote goat can't because it's a two-wheeler. You're gonna fall flat on your face. So we're going to give both the Murray Explorer and the Eton a point for that. The Murray Explorer comes out on top with the top speed being about three miles an hour faster than the tote goat. But we did a shorter distance drag race and this happened. Hey! So because of this, we're going to give the tote goat the point for its better acceleration. Now, let's do some more short distance drag races, one by one, timed this time, of each vehicle, and see which vehicle does end up coming out on top. Hello, my name is RJ Ford, I'm the timer. My hair's a mess. Uh, my sleeves are rolled up because I just made that dirt line. It surprisingly got me dirty. Ah, I've been worried already, some of that, Marcus. Let's go! Oh! So after running the numbers, the tote goat did in fact come out on top just like we suspected. It just takes way too long for that Murray Explorer to build the speed it needs to win this. So we are going to again give the point to the tote goat for speed. You might be asking, well speed is all is, is good and all, but but can it actually do anything cool? Well let's find out. We have a small track built out of hay here, built for dirt bikes. But, we're going to see how well our drivers can improvise with a one minute timed freestyle. Three, two, one, go! Jump it, you wank!
this one's kind of hard to call because really they all did fairly well and this is more dependent on the driver than the vehicle in this case but I think we're gonna give the point here to the Eton. It was the most fun out of the three to rip around on that track. But can they climb hills fast? Let's find out. Down here at this off-road track at the end of a field, and we're gonna do a three-lap hill climb circuit race here. Pretty simple, the vehicle that has the best overall time wins and gets the point. We're gonna start off with the Murray Explorer. But let's give it to the E-Ton now, or I'm actually going to try this out. The Tote Goat did really well actually really high speed down the hill plenty of power to get up it It actually comes out on top by about 10 seconds in this challenge, which really surprised me. I thought the Murray Explorer was going to come a little bit closer to it than that. But let's see what the actual drivers from this production think about each vehicle. start things off, it completely whooped my butt in the drag race. It's lightweight, small, compact, probably goes faster. It's very stable, so you do feel that like false sense of safety when you ride it. But Ben on it, I mean, it's hilarious watching that. It's Although it's slow, it's very maneuverable around like small areas and it's pretty comfortable when you get used to it. It was slow <laughs> compared to the rest of them. Like you don't really like to ride with other people because all they do is shout in your ear. It's awesome for that. It was probably like really smooth to ride and also sounded pretty good. It's curled up in like a little ball. I'm definitely gonna wear a Hello Kitty helmet for sure. It was pretty fast. It could actually hold, definitely hold, probably three or four people. It's a lot faster than the Eton, but turning radius is a lot larger and it's, 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 it is more uh, off-road capable. If you want to go fast but not slow, it likes to bump in the back a lot for some reason. The suspension is kind of not there. Sometimes. 